Yo! What's going on, guys? I wanted to bring up two things with you real quick. Now, the first one is regard to the anime reaction segment. Now, I remember I was doing One Punch Man. I'm not into it anymore. I'm not going to be doing it anymore. I got to be real with you guys. That's just the way it is, man. I mean, the anime I explained in a previous video is that it's not the kind of anime that makes me captivated, whereas there's always some kind of risk or danger. It basically kind of just seems like the story is sort of jokey in a way, which is fine. It's fine, you know, but usually I get off more of the things that are on a more serious undertone. So One Punch Man is done. That's the way it is. That's my decision, my channel. I do what I want. I mean, I know there were a lot of people that wanted to see the One Punch Man stuff, and I apologize to you guys, but it's just not going to happen at this point i gotta be real with you i'm sorry i had you let on for this long i thought maybe the interest would start up again but it ain't this channel is all about what i'm passionate about and i just lost passion for one punch man but i mean in regards to the method that i use to do the reaction videos to it and by the way funny ass place to have the video paused here but you guys remember i had the whole youtube video multiplier website thing where it kind of showed you two videos playing at the same time in order to be able to pull off the reaction feel without having too much risk of copyright shit happening well I tried the method out. It seemed like it worked for a lot of people. It seemed like it didn't work for even more people than that. So I was saying to myself, I don't want to keep doing reactions to different anime on this channel that I'm interested in because I do want to do one to prison school, but I don't want to do them if there's not going to be any kind of stable way for you guys to take in the reactions. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. The first episode of One Punch Man got 132,000 views, and then on the reaction site, the one that has the double videos playing, it says that it got viewed 600, excuse me, 68,000 times. I mean, I'm not talking really about the size of these numbers as much as I'm talking about the relativity between how many people actually watched the YouTube video and then how many were able to watch on the Doubler website, which is the way the reactions are taken in in the first place. It seems to me that half of the people who click this were not able to use this method. So there's going to be a straw poll in the description. Please check that out and tell me, did this method of watching the reaction videos work for you or was it a dud? I know I have a lot of mobile viewers that said that this method did not work for them on iOS and other things like that. I want to make sure that your voices are heard because if this method truly doesn't work for like half or over half of you guys, then I'm going to find another way to do the anime reactions. But I don't want to continue doing them and half of my people can't even fucking take them in. You know, I don't think that's right. So I want to make sure I find something that works on an even, you know, another medium for everybody. So another video where you see this in action is episode four, I think. Well, this was the House of Evolution. I think it was episode four. Can't even tell from the thing. It was episode three. This video on YouTube got 40,000 views. But if we go to the Doubler website, this only got viewed 24,000 times. So it seems like half the people that are able to watch the reactions are actually able to do so. But the reactions also got less views here than they did in episode one and previous episodes because I think people were not able to watch. So they said, oh, Eric is doing the Doubler video thing again to make these reactions come down. I can't watch it, so I'm not even going to bother. I want your voices to be heard. If you couldn't watch my methods, then let me know. And by the way, another thing, I said there were two things that I need to talk about in this video, and another is the capture card situation. Both of my capture cards right here. This is the old one that I got from Katsukiri about, how long was it, like three years ago? And this is the new one that I got from Katsukiri earlier this year in January. This one, it already was having a lot of technical issues. It was there was a lot of bullshit happening with this one before I actually broke it on stream. I dropped it a little bit on stream. I, it didn't even hit the floor. It just kind of like hit the desk and it it broke. This one, the one that I've had for three years, recently decided to break on me last night actually while I was doing uh, my Fire Emblem stream sometime yesterday. And it's kind of fucked up. But this one is out of commission and so is this one. These together cost about one thousand two hundred dollars. My faith in Katsu Kitty has really dropped now. Even though the red one did kind of break, helpful to my reason, but I mean, helpful to my reason, is that even a term you use? But I mean, it's, it's kind of like, it was already fucking up in the beginning. I was having trouble with it. So anyways, guys, people came through to help your boy out, man. And I got to give these guys a real shout out. Big shout outs go out to Obi-Wan. You know, I, I don't even know if I should be showing the DMs, man, because, you know, they're private messages. But to me, it was just such a, a loving gesture in a way that I didn't want this to go unseen, guys. Obi-Wan hit me up yesterday and told me, yo, I'm going to hit you. I'll give you my capture card if you need it, bro. I'm just trying to help you out, man. So I, I got to say thank you to you, dude. Thank you to Obi-Wan and also thank you to Duncan Knee Deep and his girlfriend, Barrow, who also came through to help me out. Duncan said that he was going to pull some crazy method to try to get me a capture card um, if I asked him to with uh, Loopy. He knows Loopy apparently. Some other kind of he's going to get me one given to me at PAX East. And man, I, I really just got to say, guys, like that, I can tell this came from the heart, man. That was a really nice gesture from both of you guys. 
Uh, I have them linked in the description. Go tell them thank you because, you know, they obviously care. They don't want to see me fucked up. They want to help me out. And it really comes back to you guys because they want to see the content continuously come out to help out the viewers and stuff. And I, I, I really am touched by that. It's even more touching because, you know, I've been in that position where I've helped out somebody who was in an unfortunate situation, a couple of people actually, and... You know, I, I I did it because I wanted to help them out. I like their content. I wanted to see them succeed. So I helped those people out. And so for you guys to do the same thing for me, it just shows me that one, you guys really do care and you don't want to see your boy fuck up. And two, you also care about my viewers as well. You care about my content, not just me as Etika, the YouTuber, but me as Desmond Amofa, the, the person. Thank you. Thank you big time. man. thank you to Duncan, Beryl and Obi-Wan for really going out of their way to help me and my channel out, man. I really do appreciate it, guys. I know it came from the heart. Thank you very much. Anyways, guys, so with these things out of the way, please do address the straw poll in the description. I'm really touched, man. I, I, gotta, I gotta say, I'm really, I really am. These guys, really, I, it, whenever somebody does a huge, kind gesture like that, it, it always gets to me, man. But anyways, guys, thank you. Thank you, ball, big time for all the support. And please let your voices be heard in that straw poll. If that double method does not work for most of you, I'm going to change it. And I'm going to make things work out for all of us at the end of the day. I'll talk to you guys later on. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.